Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do financial maths. But before you start with the financial maths, make sure that you are comfortable with all the concepts that you have learned in grade 10. Go over our grade 10 summary before continuing with this section. From our previous knowledge, we know that the basic concepts we work with is our PAIN. And with our compound interest, the formula is A is equal to P, open brackets, 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, what we are specifically going to change in grade 11 is the different periods that you calculate. Standardly, you would learn that you would do compound interest, but it would only be calculated once a year. But what happens when we start calculating maybe semi-annually, so it means half yearly or quarterly, monthly? The two factors that are affected with change of period is I and N. What happens is that we start changing the period. In other words, we start changing the amount of times the interest is calculated on your investment. Now, if I say half yearly, half yearly basically means you put your money in in January, then in June the bank calculates and then again in December. So in one year, what happens is the bank calculates on your investment two times. So your N now changes from one to two. But what happens to your interest? If you were given 10%, what they would do is they would they would divide your interest from 10% to 5% in June and then 5% in December. So what happens is I is also affected twice, but look at the difference. N, the effect is multiplication, but I, when we say it is affected by 2, what is actually happening is it is dividing by 2. So as in your interest was 10%, now it's reduced to 5%. Let's take another change. If I say quarterly, what this means is that the bank calculates four times. If I say monthly, then it means that the bank calculates 12 times. Daily, we wouldn't work with daily in a bank, but if we're talking of uh, diseases, infection growth, fungal growth, anything that has a speedy growth, then they would usually refer to the compound interest as daily. And in a standard question, daily is considered 365 unless th it is stated that it is more than 365. So in other words, they tell you work a year out to be 366. But if they do not say that, we accept daily as 365. Then what they could do is they could say every four months. Now, if you take every four months, it means that they are actually calculating the interest three times a year. So it would be in April, in August, and then in December. Right? Another common word for half yearly is they tend to use the word called semi-annually. Semi-annually is exactly the same thing as half yearly. Now, let's see how this affects your work. Let's take the following question. 10,000 Rand is invested at 8% per annum for three years. Calculate the investment after three years. So you know standardly we're going to start with our PAIN. Our P is 10,000 Rand. We don't know our A. Our interest is 8%, which we write as 8 over 100, and our N is for three years. Then we know it's a compounded formula. So we're going to use the compound formula. A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the power of N. Substitute. And then simply press it into your calculator. 
giving us 12,597 Ren, 12 cents. Now let us change the question slightly. 10,000 Ren is invested at 8% per annum. Now when they say PA, it means the bank is giving you a rate of 8% for a year. You are investing it for three years, but it is compounded monthly. So we have our P A I N. Our P is 10,000 Ren. We don't know what our A is, but our I, it is 8% which we call or which we write as 8 over 100. But something is happening to it because they said compounded monthly. We are going to divide the I by 12. And our N, which is 3 years, we are going to times it by 12. So what we did was we made the adjustment before we go into the formula and before we are substituting into our formula. Now 8 divided by 100 and then we're going to divide that by 12. It is safer to use fractions in financial math because when you round off too soon, then your final answer is affected. Then we have 3 times 12, which is 36. Now write down your formula. Substitute what we have. In I, we are going to put 1 over 150. And in N, we are going to put 36. What that means is that in the year, the bank calculates interest every month, which means they calculate it 12 times for one year. Then you have it in the bank for three years, which means 36 times they are calculating the interest for you. They obviously can't give you 8% per month, so they reduce it to a monthly value. So they take the 8%, which is a yearly value, and they reduce it to a monthly value. After that, you simply press it into your calculator, which equals to 12,702 and 37 cents. So the interest rate, even though the bank is saying that they are giving us 8% per annum, 12,597 12 cents. But because it's compounded monthly, we end up with more. Thank you for watching.